of his nest during a bad storm and didn't develop one of his eyes completely, this eye on the side. So Hawkeye can't see that well. And so Hawkeye is an education bird because they have to see really well and hear really well in order to constantly live in the wild. So that's why he's one of our education birds. And it is interesting that they do migrate. There's like 700,000 of them that go over Corpus Christi, Texas in September at the same time. And so that would be really a neat sight to see. So they need warm air in the in the winter. They migrate south. They go to South America, like she said, and uh, or Mexico. And so with with our broad wings and some of our other birds that are migrators, we put them into a into a pen that has uh, sun lamps in the winter. They can't be in our outdoor pens where it's really cold. So Hawkeye gets to be. Uh, inside and gets, you know, treatment that he sh should get. Um, he's got really sharp talons and sharp beak, so if you don't have a glove on, those are like little needles, just like with the kestrel, they're like needles going into your, just like Mike said, if you get near wild birds, their first instinct is to talon you or to use their beak. But this bird will eat uh, about the same stuff, mice and uh, uh, rats and uh, birds, chicks, uh, probably big, you know, like frogs and different things, big bugs. I have a question since you guys are radio silent today. You said that hawks need to see very well and hear very well, but right. do they have ears? Yes. Are, do they have like what? Do they have outer ears? Only inner ears? Yeah, they don't have ears like we do that you can see. <laughs> the owls have their the owls have feathers on top, but their ears are on the sides. Okay. All right. So this and that's one. So this is Leo that he's bringing out, and Leo is a long-eared owl, and long-eared owls are really good at seeing camouflage. So if you're trying to hang, the stigma will rise and flatten the tree like that. So that they don't have a branch, and they'll close their eyes most of the way. There won't be a branch in the middle of the wood. He was knocked out of a nest, and um, when he fell, he hurt one of his wings, and that didn't develop properly. So he's um, he can fly, but not very well. Um, you would see the injury, but it's actually an X-ray shows that the, the bones didn't fuse properly. This is probably the most common raptor in all of North America, but not all red-tailed hawks have red-colored tails. And that's the hawk you would see alongside the roads all the time that's always sitting up on the tree. So I'll let Kathy tell you a bit about Ruby. Okay, Ruby is about eight years old. We got her because she had a crop injury when they eat all their food goes in this little area right here, and they get a little bubble. It's a crop, and that's how the, the owls, the owls uh, spit up everything. And so do, so do the hawks. They spit up all the bones and feathers, and they both spit up their pellets. She's one of our most of our favorite birds that we have because she's been around so long, and she's uh, she behaves well.